If it were up to Lujendra Lujuayha, he might be killing it on guitar in his old death metal band today. Instead, he was in France for a fellowship when he called into a much hyped NASA press conference to share his historic finding of flowing liquid salt water on Mars. If you get Ayaha's voicemail, the recording tells you in a comic drawl that he might call you back, or maybe not. Ayaha is perhaps the latest in a growing list of young space scientists like Bobak NASA Mohawk Guy Ferdowsi who are breaking the mold of your grand Pa's stereotypical button-down, clean-shaven, pocket-protector-wearing scientists. When Ayaha returns my call shortly after I leave a message on his cell phone, he's quick to clarify that he doesn't consider himself an astrobiologist or a planetary scientist. That's not just because he's only 25 years old and still technically in graduate school, pursuing a PhD at Georgia Tech, but because he sees himself more as a jack of all trades as far as science goes. He also spends a lot of time studying earthquakes on our own planet, for example. He walks me through how he devised a new technique to analyze photos from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter MRO, and wound up finding evidence of water mixing with salts. After that, I can't help asking about a photo on his personal website it shows Ayaha in long hair, guitar in hand, microphone in front of his mouth belting it out with his old death metal band. 